Hello guys and welcome to TechPaste. In this video, we're gonna talk about this error code when trying to open up Google Chrome. So this is a common error that comes up on some machines. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a few methods, a few steps that you can try in order to fix this problem. And of course, be able to use the Chrome browser normally as every Windows 10 or Windows user should be able to. First of all, let me show you how to run the system file checker. When you're getting this error, the application was unable to start correctly. Maybe you have some damaged Windows 10 important files or some missing files. So we're gonna have to press the Windows button and then type in here CMD, right click on command prompt and click on run as administrator and then click on yes. In CMD as administrator, we're gonna type in here SFC space slash scan now this command you're gonna have in the description down below, then press enter. The command will run and will check all the important system files for missing files or damaged or even corrupted Windows files. So as you can see, beginning system scan, this process will take some time, beginning verification phase of system scan. It's gonna verify the files, it's gonna scan them, and it's gonna try to solve all the issues and all the problems that it can find. So be patient, this process can take some time depending on your storage or your system resources, of course, but be patient and wait for it to finish because this could help you fix the problem. If this didn't help, you're still getting this error. A solution would be to try to reinstall Google Chrome, but I'm guessing you already did that. But if not, I'm gonna show you how you can do that. Just go on to start, and then you're gonna have here in the app list, Google Chrome, right click on it and click on uninstall. And of course, go to the official website and install it again. But this is something that I've said, I suppose you've done already. So now make sure you have your operating system up to date make sure you have the latest version of Windows 10. To see if you have the latest version of Windows 10, go to start and then click on the settings icon, then go down a bit and go to update and security, then go to Windows update, and of course, click on check for updates and install all the updates that you have available here. Updates are very important for Windows 10. Through updates, you receive a lot of patches, you receive security updates and stuff like that, and those updates can dramatically help the operating system with errors like this. If what we've done so far doesn't work, try to do a system clean boot. What this means, this means you will boot up with Windows, but only with the important Windows 10 services. No other third party app will boot up with Windows. So let me show you how you can do that. Press the start key on your keyboard and then type in here msconfig enter on system configuration, and then go to services. Here onto services, click on hide all Microsoft services, so you hide all the important system services, and then click on disable all, and then apply and okay, and restart your operating system. Your operating system will restart with no other app besides the official Microsoft services. So if your Google Chrome is working properly in that boot up mode, maybe an app that you have installed on your operating system is causing the error. So you should look that up and see what app could possibly cause that error. So if after you've done all of these steps, your Google Chrome browser is still not working, you're still receiving the error, the last step that you can try is to reset your PC. In Windows 10, you have the ability to reset the PC without losing your important files, only your programs will be uninstalled. So let me show you how you can do that. Click on the start button and then go to the settings icon. And here in the Windows 10 settings, type in here reset, click on reset this PC. And you have here this option, if your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstalls Windows. So this is a last step. If anything from the video is not working, you can try this. This will practically reinstall your operating system, but you will not lose your files. Only the software will be uninstalled. So you have to click on get started. You have to select keep my files if you want to keep your files, of course. And here, how would you like to reinstall Windows? I recommend you click on cloud download in order to download from the official Microsoft site the newest ISO image of Windows 10. Go and click on next. And you can see here, getting things ready. This won't take long. And Windows will list here all the settings. The settings will be changed back to their defaults. Your personal files will be kept. 
it will download and reinstall Windows and will remove all apps and programs. And if you click here, you will be able to see all the apps that Windows will remove. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Cloud download can use more than 3.2 gigs of data. If you click on reset, Windows will restart and will reset. After the reset, everything should be fixed. So this was the video for today, guys. I'm hoping that this video helped you. If it did, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the channel with the notification bell activated so you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBased. Until next time, have a nice day.